Hello everyone. Today we will will be exploring the fascinating topic of excretion. We will delve into the mechanism our body used to eliminate waste and maintain internal balances. Get ready for an insightful journey into the world of excretory system. Excretion is the removal of waste product generated by metabolic reaction inside body cells. And it produced by the aerobic respiration, carbon dioxide dissolved in water to produce weak acid. Too much build up in the body fluid, the pH drop, which can damage cells and disrupt metabolism. Carbon dioxide is transported to the lung, dissolved in the blood plasma, and excreted in air. And urea is the primary nitrogenous and crystalline product in mama formed in the liver. They converted urea and keto acid through the urea cycles and eliminate through urine. And the urea dissolved in the blood plasma and is removed and excreted by the kidney. The structure history of kidney. Rena medulla located deep within the kidney contains structure called rena pyramids. The functions is to concentrate urine by absorbing water and essential substances from filtered producers in the renal cortex, aiding in the regulations of molecular balance. And each kidney is supplied with the oxygenated blood to a renal artery, and the blood is removed in the renal vein. Pelvis channel urine into the ureter, and ureter takes urine from kidney to the bladder. And the renal capsule is a tough fibrous layer that surrounds the kidney providing structural support and protecting it from injuries. And the renal cortex contains nephron, the functional unit responsible for filtering blood and forming urine, playing a crucial role in the filtration and initial processing of blood to regulate waste and electronic balance. How urine is produced in nephron consists of eight steps. Glomerular filtrations. Okay, this is the one. Blood enter the glomerulus, glomerulus, a network of capillaries in Bowman capsules, and high blood pressure in the glomerul glomerulus forces water, iron, and small solute to pass through the capillary walls into Bowman capsule. And step two, there will be a formation of filtrate, the fluid that enters Bowman capsules. It's not known as the glomerular filtrate. This filtrate contains water, iron, glucose, amino acid, and waste product like media. And size selectivity, the large molecules like protein and blood cells are too large to pass through the filtration membrane and are retained in the bloodstream. And step number four, the proximal convoluted tubules. This is the one. The filter move from Bowman capsules to the proximal convoluted tubules. The reabsorption of essential substances like glucose and acids and iron occurs here, returning them to the bloodstream. And step number five is the loop of honey. The remaining filter passes through the loop of honey, where further water and iron adjustment take place. And at this the Convoluted tubules, there will be a fine tuning of electrolyte balance occurs in the distal convoluted tubules. And the hormone regulation, such as aldosterone and antidiuretic hormone, influences water and iron reabsorption here. And collecting gap is the filtrate now more concentrated and referred to as we move into the collecting duct. And the final adjustment to water reabsorption occur, affecting the urine concentration. And excretion, the concentrated urine is then transported to the renal pelvis and eventually expelled from the body through the ureter. 
bladder and urethra. Osmoregulation is a process by which organism maintain a balance of water and solid within their bodies, ensuring internal stability. Whereas ADH is the antidiuretic hormone, ADH, to produce by the hypothalamus and released by the pituitary glands, play a key role in osmoregulation. ADH regulates water reabsorption in the kidney, helping to concentrate or dilute urine based on the body hydration state. As a conclusion, excretion is a process of is the mechanism our body used to eliminate waste and maintain internal balances. That is all about excretion system. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. And please don't forget to subscribe to Joe's Study YouTube channel. Hope that you get an idea what is regulation control excretion is all about. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.